Hi guys, so today I am talking about the Balmore model, cash management, and we are looking at an example, how we can solve the Balmore model using the formula, as you will see in your exams. So before you watch this, I'll suggest watching my other video explaining the formula, that will be in the top, hand, top right hand corner. So without further ado, let's get into this. So looking at this example, Philips PLC has annual transactions of nine million pounds. The fixed cost of converting marketable securities into cash, so this is having your assets turned into liquid cash, so going from illiquid to liquid, is £264.50. The annual opportunity cost is 9%. Now when we say annual opportunity cost, what we mean by that is the, the rate the marketable securities were appreciating. So they were appreciating at 9%. And this is fairly realistic. If you look at the market at the moment, in the, especially in the UK, housing is rise, has risen in the past year by 9.4%. So this is fairly reasonable at this point in time, at this economic situation. So what is the optimum cash balance? So let's break this down. First of all, what's the main information? So the annual transaction is 9 million. Let's circle that. That's how much we need, how much we're spending. Cost of converting multiple securities is 264.50 and annual opportunity cost 9%. Okay, so now we've got those, let's write down the formula to work out the optimum cash balance. As you can probably remember, optimum cash balance, C star, is 2 times the total cash needed times the fixed cost over the opportunity cost, all square rooted. And like I said, if you want to figure out why that is the formula, check out the video. So it's fairly easy from here, but I also want to show a little bit of explanation into this. So let, I'll just plug in the values first. Two times the total transaction cost, nine million. It's best to write it out in full so you don't get confused times the 264 all over this is where people can mess up 0 0.09 you have to put 0 0.09 because this is percentages this is the opportunity cost and all square rooted and if I get my calculator out that works out to 200 and thirty thousand. So that's the optimum cash balance that should be stayed in the bank. But let's, if if you don't quite understand it, let's have a look at this on a graph. So we'll use a different colour. Use a blue. Excuse me for my poor graph drawing. Okay, so there are axes. So on the x-axis we will have cash balance, and on the y-axis we would have total cost. Now, what we need is, we'll draw, draw lines on. So, opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is upward sloping like this. And it's upward sloping for one reason. As we increase our cash balance, the total opportunity cost, the 9% on the marketable securities we are losing out. So the more, the higher our cash balance, the more money we're losing. And this is the similar with, with our transaction cost, our fixed cost of converting these multiple securities. It goes a little bit like this. It's a little bit of an exponential, like that. And this, the reason for this is when we take out a larger cash balance, we only incur this £264 once on our total sum, total cost. So as you can see, there's always a crossover. When there's two graphs, there's always a crossover. But what these two graphs essentially form is something a little bit like this. And this is where our optimum cash balance comes from. So if I get a white or rather neutral colour, we will go up here. And this is the cash balance we want. Across here, this is the total cost. The, the cost opportunity cost and fixed cost and up here is the is the total cost so this is total cost of of our um 
of, oh, including our opportunity cost and fixed cost. And then this is our just our singular cost. So we can have C over 2 if we want, or T C over 2. And then this is our cash balance, our optimum cash balance. And if we were to bring this into the example, from the example we've just done, this would be 230,000. And if we wanted to work out the t uh, work out the, the cost, let's call this, let's work out our opportunity cost first. Our opportunity cost is calculated by the cash balance needed over two times our interest rate, which was going to be our opportunity, our total cash was nine million. All over two, so that's four and a half million times 0 0.09. So I'm going to try and do this in my head. Four and a half million times 0 0.09. So 10% is 450,000. I may need a calculator for this. Uh, 4 million, 4.5 million times 0 0.09 is gonna equal 405,000. That's the cost. And that will go in here. 405,000 and because the total cost and the opportunity cost are the same it's going to end up being 810,000 and that is an example of using the Bauer model. I hope you understand this video and I hope you go watch the other video it will be in the playlist. Thanks for watching.